Hi there, this is Melanie Carr, the Erotic Abundance Podcast. So good morning, it's it's 6.30, <laughs> it's still kind of dark out, and I want to talk about how love is involved in moving the energy in the sexual experience in the heart center. And this topic's come up because I'm finding for myself and for other women that I know that one of the issues they're having um, when it comes to being able to have an orgasm with someone in a sexual experience is if there's not some kind of love energy, heart-centered energy or connection energy involved in in the connection with the other person, they find it very difficult to have an orgasm. The kind of orgasm where, you know, you're you're making love and it just naturally happens. Obviously if, you know, they have a toy or they have some I have direct physical stimulation of the clitoris pretty much are able to do it but um, a lot of times with just a normal kind of hookup experience a lot of girls are telling me that they're finding it very difficult to have an orgasm when they've just met someone and there's no connection there's no history there's no caring there's no love and let's analyze this whole scenario because First of all, what is love? Love is a belief system for so many people. There's there's three words that I believe are so tainted by our belief systems and from the the culture, society, religion, the belief systems that we have about sex, about God, and about love. For each person is totally different. And love in itself for a lot of people is this romantic idea you know that we get from watching Hollywood movies and I think most people are getting an idea now that um, there might be something there that isn't quite mm, clicking or isn't quite working for them if they've sort of followed that romantic path of this idealistic um, love between two people yes it's a beautiful idea and yes I believe it's attainable to have those kind of experiences soulmate type experiences in our lives it's it's attainable for some people it's part of their destiny they've came here to to have these these beautiful experiences with other human beings we all have beautiful experiences with other human beings but in particular here um I started to change my concept about love and what it is for myself little by little. And um, I started to understand that love is more like the creative expression of our life purpose energy connecting with others in the heart center. Obviously, that's a very general and doesn't embark just on the relationship partnership. And the relationship partnership also has seemed to change a lot in my mind, more as being a reflection or a way where two people can grow and evolve together. And instead of it being this romantic, perfect, beautiful scenario, I'm finding that there's more deep, loving connection in experiences with people where I'm evolving and I'm growing and they challenge me to be a better person. And there's more love in that deep connection in the soul of the evolution of the soul than there is in this romantic feeling of beautiful romantic love which is also part of the experience but not the 
whole experience and not the most important part of the experience. Though energetically, this high vibration frequency of connection that we feel is extremely healthy and an extremely wonderful experience. And part of that process is understanding how the sexual energy and the love energy can be moved up into our heart center and experienced through a connection with another person. I'm finding that there's a lot of people who they're afraid of being hurt by the loss of that connection. We become addicted to that connection and then when we lose it, it becomes extremely sad and painful. And we don't recognize that we don't ever lose it. We sometimes have to transition the actual physical reality of the relationships. But there's no reason for us to ever lose the feeling of love that we have for another person. Even if we're shown by our intuition and by the universal connection that it might not be a relationship that we are going to physically have in the 3D world in our life anymore. Because people die, because people change, because people um, meet other people and leave us. But that's all on a 3D physical level. So the love that we feel and the appreciation and the beautiful energy that we're sharing with someone doesn't ever have to die or go away or disappear. Or I, I do believe it goes back into the ocean of our love experiences. But that experience stays with us in our energetic field for our whole lives. So being afraid of losing love, of losing the people we love, and because of that reason, choosing not to connect with people on a higher, more loving, heart-centered frequency is not the best way to go. A lot of people are choosing to just have a physical sexual connection with someone. But if that's the case, if you're just doing it for physical satisfaction, it might almost be better to just kind of create your own situation by yourself than to be looking just for kind of hookup sort of sex where there is no um, energetic connection on a higher vibration. I'm not saying it's wrong or bad. It might be energetically feasible for some people. But I'm finding a lot of people telling me that if there isn't some kind of creative love connection in the heart center, and sometimes it can just be a really good friendship with a great respect and appreciation and then Two people decide to share more of a, like, I don't have anyone and you don't have anyone and we both care about each other and we want to share a moment. And I think that that isn't uh, such a problem as the literal hookups where you don't even know who that person is. You don't know how they vibrate. You don't know anything about them. And the experience can be very complicated, especially for women, because most of the sex that we have it has to come hand in hand with at least some communication for it to be enjoyable. I mean, you might get lucky and find a really intuitive person who can figure you out on the first on the first date or but in general, from what I'm hearing from, from women is that if they are just hooking up for a one-night stand type thing, a lot of times they're not even enjoying it and they're walking away from the situation not feeling very satisfied. And then a lot of times as well, we have to remember that if there was no um, loving connection between the two people you know, even on a caring, respect kind of level, if it was just all physical, um, either physical attraction or maybe not even that much physical attraction, just a desire to 
you know, hold someone or be close to someone and, uh, or maybe just the need to have sex. Um, most of the time it, it's quite a disappointing experience and I'm finding that even, you know, people with a lot of experience are having a hard time making that connection because energetically there's just nothing between the two people. So it just the energy, the creative energy, um, the erotic energy just does not flow in in a way that it can help um, create the connection that that women need in order to have an orgasm. And so they walk away from the experience feeling um, kind of cheated. Like, you know, I had this situation and um, I don't really know what I got out of it. And then we have to think about what kind of energy the other person is sharing with us. Because if their energy that they have was stressed and tense and the person was looking to have sex more than anything just to dump their their tense, stressed energy out on somebody else physically, um, we can actually find that very far from feeling um, a wonderful, connected experience, we just end up being kind of like the dumping ground for somebody's heavy, tense, frustrated energy. And obviously after that, we can feel depressed. We can feel um, just a lot of, pick up a lot of emotional garbage energy from another person that we don't know because their intention wasn't to share a loving experience. Their intention was to just get off and to just release and a lot of times we might not want to be the receiving for that um it also i have also noticed i live near cancun half an hour from cancun and i have a lot of friends who grew up where there's situations where they were quite active sexually in their younger years with different women as well men i know who if they do jump around with different women um, find that they're having challenges with depression and anxiety and another thing that I've noticed is that women that are looking for that kind of sexual experience or allowing that kind of just let's just hook up type of sexual experience are also um releasing fear, anxiety, and depression onto the guys as well. And so there can become this not such a nice... I mean, if you can share this beautiful, um, connected, heart-centered love experience with someone, you can also share all the tension, stress, and fear that they're carrying in their energetic system as well. And I don't think we should be afraid of the energies that other people have. Um, but I think it is a really smart idea to think carefully before we do share our energy with um, another person on a physical aspect like that. Because we could very well pick up um, and then be very challenged to process the energy to not have energetic and emotional challenges afterwards and if you do find yourself um, experiencing a challenge after having a kind of hookup experience then you have to go back and work on your your meditation and and your self-love and all the process of releasing the energies and recognizing what's your energy and what is the other person's energy as well so I wanted to talk about sex and love because of the importance of it, but it brings up a huge topic of what is love and in our belief systems, the way we, we're seeing it, um, there's a kind of a new idea about what love is and I believe that it's starting to go more towards can you share 
my creative life mission with me? Can you help me sustain those inspirations and those difficult moments and those um, evolutionary experiences where I'm learning and growing? Can you hold space for me? Can I hold space for you? Can I help you with what you came here to create and do? Do you even know what you came here to create? Because people that don't know yet what they're here, what they're doing here, uh, or what their life mission is or their purpose, or what they came here to serve or contribute, are going to have a much more difficult time finding somebody who can share with them that kind of frequency of love and connection because there isn't that same purpose for the relationship. There isn't the same evolutionary purpose, the growth, the connection, the attraction between the two people. It's like if you don't have that universal energy that guides you towards someone with that attraction that's there, if you don't have that vibration and you don't have a loving a connected and amazing energetic connection with the person you might find that the sex isn't so great and you might find that you're not having those kind of energetic orgasmic experiences whether physical or energetic orgasmic experiences so I do think it's important that people take a look at what their belief system is related to love, sex, and relationships and their purpose in life and take a really good um, inventory as to why they're hooking up with someone. If it was just like I'm really, really um, horny and I need to get, to get laid and it's just been too long and I need to have sex and we don't wait until the universe provides us with that special person who vibrates on that connective level in the heart center we will probably find that the sex is not that great we can end up feeling hurt used especially for women the feeling used thing is so common and it not really being much purpose for the whole experience so take a really good inventory has to wire you're hooking up with someone and analyze what you're looking for in your life and if you are using your creative energy to share with someone try to bring it up into the heart center and try to ask you know what can I give to this person to better their life lives and what can they give to me to better my life what energy can we share to create or to to use that creative sexual energy in the heart center to be a positive, connected, and a little bit more loving experience. I think that should sort of be our goal for having great sex because if it's just a physical connection with no, no heart center connection, no loving connection, no, no purpose, it hasn't been blessed by the universe because there wasn't even that strong energy that you know attracts to people that tells you, hey, this might be someone. They just shine a little bit brighter. They just, you know, this person just glows. Who is that person? That great attraction should be there. And if you are in that situation where you're frustrated, then ask the universe to help you find that person Ask for that experience in your life and you will attract it to yourself by using your heart center to create the opportunity to be with someone and share with them on a higher vibration and have a great sexual experience with them as well. So have a great day and take a really good look at why you're having sex and what the purpose is and how you can create a higher frequency of vibration and connection to have a really awesome experience. Have a great day.